à tout de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage moteur Vulcain. Allumage de ZAP, décollage. Propulsion nominale. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Pulsion nominale. Syracuse 4B and Heinrich Hertz satellite blazing a trail on board the last ever Ariane 5 across the equatorial skies and we can hear the rumble of her engines as she flies over. Well, we have a very good view. I'm, I'm sure we will see the booster separation with the camera. Nominal. So there, and here we will see the booster separation. Yeah, we see Separation de deux EAP. Wow. And we, we have confirmation from the range operations manager. Look those, at this. That's absolutely amazing. Those two boosters on the right and the left being jettisoned. The white dot in the middle, the Vulcan engine. So they are providing 90% of the overall thrust. Trajectory on the left hand side is the planned route for the vehicle. And separation there of the fairing is what it looks like. Separation de la coiffe. Stage. We are gaining lots of speed right now. So in less than two and a half minutes, we will go from four to seven kilometers per second. Now it's Natal. And then we will have other stations all along the flag path. Coming up on the next se sequence of events. Separation de l'étage principal cryotechnique. Coming up now on the first main event, H2 sat separation. That's what it looks like up there. Separation Enrich Air Satellite confirmé. And we have separation of Heinrich Hertz satellite yeah. to the CVI teams who then uh, provide that to the range operations manager, Raymond Boyce, to announce. This is the scheduled time for separation. Separation Syracuse 4B confirmé. And we have there separation of Syracuse 4B. That's great news. Ariane 5 has delivered her second passenger bang on target over the Indian Ocean. Congratulations to all the Syracuse 4T, 4B teams and to the H2SAT team.